Hi guys, this is Cy from Cy and I Software. Today I'm going to talk about a Lumi uh, for 3D Studio Max. Uh, this version is for V-Ray. Um, it's going to, every time you fire up a Lumi, it's going to auto detect what sort of plugin you're using for a render engine. Uh, so we have done F-Storm, we've done Mosquito Render, we've done Corona, we've done V-Ray. Uh, we're following up with all the rests because every HDRI setting is different. Uh, we've teamed up with HDRI Skies, so this is bundled with some HDRIs, so some very nice 15K HDRIs here uh, to start you off. Uh, you can add in all your own HDRIs as well, or you can load custom HDRIs on the fly. Uh, so maybe you've shot something just for that day, you want to bring it in, you want to rig it, it'll do that. So let's get started, and I'll, I'm going to bring in an HDRI right now, and I have it set uh, in this case, I want a V-Ray Sun, I want a camera uh, with some recommended settings, and uh, I want to show stuff in the back in the viewport so I can sort of see what's going on. So uh, every, every time it brings in and reads this HDRI, it's going to go and look to see where its sun position is. So as you can see here, we've sort of, it's the HDRI is rigged to that sort of sun position. Uh, you do have the ability of, you know, rotating the sun around. This is a full rigged up rig. I'm going to skip back into my camera settings. Um, and like I said, you have the, um, the option to have a V-Ray sun or not. Uh, the V-Ray sun does help with exposure settings, so you can have softer shadows or whatnot. Uh, you do have access to f-stops as well, so I, that all sort of changes around. But let's actually just give it a quick render at what our HDRI wizard imagined those settings might be. Um, so it's not too bad. It's I think I've changed the f-stop. Just it's actually a little darker than normal, but I think I played around with that f-stop before I um, uh, went to do a render. Uh, so what this is going to do is is it calculates sort of where your sun is in the sky. Um, not only does it um, set the rig up for that, but then it figures out, well, if the sun's really high, it's going to be middle of the day, probably you're going to have a very um, bright scene, so it adjusts the exposure for that. So there's a lot of um, different stuff, and, and mostly, most likely in your scene, you're not going to be uh, needing the background. We just display that so it's sort of nice if you want to turn the sun around and sort of see it, you can do that. You can show it in the dome light as well, or not have it at all. Uh, so let's just go turn this back down and uh, let's just give this sun a little wiggle and we'll do a setting to what I think it was actually set to before I went and changed it. Yeah, so this is basically generally how you're going to work. I mean, you're probably going to go into Nuke and put in a, more, put in a background uh, or, you know, into Photoshop, you're going to comp something in. So generally, you're not going to have the background, but it's there if you need it and you can actually show it in the dome as well. Uh, I'm going to just jump back real quick, open up the HDRI wizard, and we're going to go, let's load a custom one. So um, even though I'm loading a custom one, like the HDRI wizard has no idea what this one is, uh, it doesn't have a preview, doesn't have any information about it, um, it's going to still go through that image. It's going to figure out where that sun is, it's going to figure out what sort of exposure it thinks it needs. Uh, and it's going to set it up. So you don't have to worry about deleting anything out of your scene. It's going to go through before it imports this in. It's going to go look and say, hey, did you already have a setup in here? If you did, it's just going to delete it clean. So once again, we have a nice clean scene that somewhat figures out what exposure it needs and sort of sets it up. Um, the other thing about this tool, and we're not going to wait till it fully renders here. The other thing about this tool is if you do not have it for your um, on your render form or anything like that, you don't have to worry about that because when you're done, you can just simply say, hey, I'm going to select it and delete it. And I'm going to go back right to my camera here and all the settings are already there. So you don't have to worry about losing anything or that it's not supported on any render form. So thanks a lot, guys. I'm looking forward to any sort of input you have on this. And like I said, this is set up in many, many different ways. So you don't have to use the sun if you don't want to. You don't have to um, sort of um, 
use back plates or whatnot. This is just sort of recommended stuff. You don't even have to use our camera. You can just sort of go in and say, hey, you know what, I want an HDRI. I don't want it in viewport. I don't want a sun. I don't want a recommended camera. Just bring in my HDRI attached to that rig. And you'll be able to still spin that around and still make adjustments, exposure over the HDRI and everything like that. So it's supposed to be a nice, simple, easy tool to use. So thanks a lot, guys. See you.